the job of being one of the judges. I know, yeah, it's good. This year's been good. The result, you know, really good, great little movies, great little films, and yeah. So um, I actually wasn't actually at the main judging thing because I was on holiday, but I sat down and watched them all. So, you know, I was, yeah, so it was good. And can you share with us more about what your involvement is with the film industry for the audience? Um, yeah, I'm a director. Um, and I've been doing it a number of years and I've done movies and I do a lot of commercials, done TV, Mr. Bean, Blackadder um, and yeah, I do all the Walkers ads as well with Gary Lineker. That can't be bad, so you're used to making short stories effectively. Exactly, yeah, yeah, I'm the king of 30 seconds, 30 second wonder. <laughs> and what are you looking for with, with within these, um, what, what kind of um, is it the story you're looking at? Is it the, the technical aspects of what the, what the guys are creating? Well, you know, the thing is, it's always, yeah, the story is paramount. So when we give a brief, you know, we get together and decide, you know, so this year it was family business. And, you know, it's important to me that people stay on brief. Um, and I can tell you the winning film tonight really does that, really comes up trumps. And, you know, and this year I, a lot, you know, because sometimes what happens, I think, People just have an idea and they try and crowbar it into the brief. Um, and also, I look for you know the skill of the potential. You know, these are potential movie makers, and you know, and I must admit the skill level is pretty high. Pretty high. Do you think as well that the digital medium has um, opened up a, a new world for, yeah, for yeah. young filmmakers? Yeah, yeah, but without doubt. But you know, the issue always is. Uh, because things can be done so cheaply, even with that camera that you're using, you know, you can take that out, you make a movie. So it's a slight danger that everyone expects everything for nothing. Very true. Yeah, so that is the only danger. The simpler it becomes and the easier, then people don't get a chance to learn skills. You know, when you're on a film set, you know, from the beginning, you. You know, you, you start off as a clapper loader or a runner and you see ev all the, you go through everything. So you see how the cameraman works, what the sound does. And these days, people just pick up things and do it, which is great. But sometimes it's good to have a little bit of a, you know, almost like the university of going through it, the training and... Is it a danger as well because uh, digital technology is sorry. So, sorry, um, so cheap that where, where you have film you had, a, you, you had to be disciplined with how much you shot and I think perhaps with digital you can just kind of... Let it roll. Yeah, yeah, you just basically let it roll and it's, as I say it's so cheap and then when you finish you just wipe the card and start again. Where film you really had to be disciplined because it's so expensive. So it's like running through, especially if you went high speed. Um, but yeah, there is that danger as well. But you know what? It's great because people can express themselves and you know, in the end, talent will out. Whether it's you're doing something for cheap or doing something for a lot of money, if you're bloody good at something, you should, you know, the cream will always rise to the top. Thank you very much you're indeed. Welcome. Fascinating. Thank good. you.